Welcome to part 13 of the Egyptian campaign for Davide et Impera. In the last part, we pushed up through here and took Palmyra and Dura. And what I want to do in this part is push forward and let's take Antioch and Frapsus or Fracapacos. And and I might, that might be the limit. We're, we're getting a bit low on cash. I've got to keep an eye on that. But I've also had a look through here. I've rolled the turnover and I've kind of had a look through these buildings and I don't think I need that anymore. This is, although this is giving me wealth and grain pits and army replenishment, but I'm kind of a bit inclined to think of that's going to give us more supplies. I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll leave the grain pits over here just in case we need to fight and over here I don't think I need this barracks anymore and I'm gonna get rid of it it's a bit of a risk but it's very close to Egypt and now Saba we're not gonna be fighting down this way because my original plan was to fight through here that's why I kept the barracks but I can't see the point now of having this barracks here because we can refurbish from Egypt of course, we got this army here, which I want to get moving this way. We've got a bit of a public order issue here, which needs to be addressed. And I kind of kept this in the last part, but I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think it's actually going to benefit that much. And I'm hoping Saba's going to take care, complete Arabia Magma, and then that will give me a secure flank, and then this army can move out. Which is another reason I want to get this because I think I'm gonna have to put another. Although we've got sanitation here, so we might be able to get a bit of a profit making building in here. And I'm kind of half thinking of a fleet, but I don't really have the cash for it. I think what we're going to do is move these armies up. This army's a little bit beat up. So is this army, but we're going I do want to push Egypt on to Antioch. It's got a garrison of 18 with two fleet. I think that could be the interesting battle. And then if I can finish this part by having these two settlements, then we've got Tarsus here. And that's a little bit out. But if we can capture Syria, because Syria is one of my victory conditions there. Then we've got to go west and east from here. So we've got a little bit more cash to spend. And don't really want to spend it on armies or anything like that at the moment. So let's. Oh, we've got an expansion here as well. Here, so could put a second temple in. Would I want the second temple though? But this is plus five public order. Food's a little bit low. I think maybe we're, we'll drop a little bit of food in there. That means we won't get slums. I'm kind of inclined. I'd love to take up Petra. Palmyra, sorry. That'll give me a tier 3. Because I think we're going to get fairly hot action here. At the moment, that's 5. Got surplus of 1. I think I'm going to go with that 1. I think I want to build up Palmyra as quickly as possible and then maybe Jura because this is going to be like an, an armoured bridgehead here so I think we need this to be as strong as possible as quickly as possible and you can see my cash has gone down to 3 no. wow ok we're, we're going to go for it it's going to take 10 turns to do it anyway there we go for an end turn guard uh, we've got rebellion Scythian migration, increase in rank. So we got rebellion there, and Palmyra. Kind of, I'm very inclined to double down on the, the temple and see if we can get some more cash or growth going in there. I don't like the double temple strategy. If any of you guys don't know what I'm talking about by a double temple strategy is that if if I can if I kind of come down here I don't know whether 
if we come here you can see that you can make money and get influence and all sorts of bits and pieces from here so what you can actually do is by building lots of temples you can actually get the public order and your cash situation under control but it kind of makes a bit of a stereotypical build because what you end up with is just like two temples or even in this province like this you have three temples in it but well I think I'm going to go with that for the moment I can always change it later on and we don't have a lot of cash either so and I think you're the one actually before I do that oh, I, I, I think the only way I'm going to get my faction leader to get any experience because he keeps getting assassinated is get him in here let fight the battle then he can get assassinated what all right we can siege we're gonna need two armies on this so I think we're just is that close enough mm. I think we're gonna fight this guys because this could be the only decent battle that we're gonna have in this part they've got Lots of spearmen again, lots of archers. And of course, they've got a little garrison fleet, which I don't think is going to be a massive problem. Right, start deployment. And the other army is coming in the other side. So ideally, I want to attack from this side which means that we're going to go cool. like this wall wow we got a choice of uh, this is a big map this is quite a big city actually the hmm there's the victory point I would say that's the victory point so I think coming in this way makes sense quite close actually okay and of course these are the opposite way round and probably going to do the same as we did last time which is is actually okay so let's just get these I, I don't think I really need to be oops no I don't think I need to be overly sophisticated about the initial layout and get the camera over here we're gonna start with a bombardment I think we can smash Again, I think I'm tempted to do what I did last time, which is kind of smash a hole here and a hole here, so that we can get these towers out very, very quickly. Yeah. I think anything else here, we're right on the edge of the map here. So uh, we will have our other forces in very, very quickly. Don't really get... One of the interesting things with Rome 2 maps, siege maps, is don't get a lot of space, so... Right, I want you to smash that wall. That to smash that wall. I don't think I want these guys actually on ladders. I don't think we're actually going to need them. Bring our generals up. Infantry, get you out on. Well, it should do. Let's just gather, and actually, I think we will bring our generals out like that. Right, 
Yeah, for our R. Got to use groups. <laughs> I know I say it, guys, and I promise you I will. How are we doing? You have 51% this side. You have 51% this side. all over here I've only got the one baggage train 68% use the Greek hoplites on the wall here oh yes yes very nice we've certainly done Again, I think we're. So we kind of got these guys here. I think we're just gonna keep pounding. Sorry, this is gonna take a little while, guys. And this is right on the entrance here. Ninety-seven percent. Right. And I think come this way. Right, let's start forming some battle groups up now. I think these guys can form this flank. These guys can form this flank, supported by these. Right. Slingers and the guys with range. Time to you for you to move forward. Doing over at forty-two percent. Maybe you need to higher, aim a bit higher. I don't know if that actually has an effect. So we've got hey, these guys. What have we got here? Heavy archers, I think we'll put walls of breach. Guys put forward and you guys can start moving forward with you in support. I think what we will do is move these guys forward. Uh, I think we'll have the second royal pal set. Can be in fence here. The archers. The walls are breached. Yep. Any ammunition left? Okay. You can use the rest of your ammunition on this wall here. Guys come on this side. Guys come in this side. Obviously a tree there. It's got boiling oil, but Egyptian swordsman, then units has used all its ammunition. Oh, 
archers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, guys, force the walls. Egyptian infantry in. You get up and get rid of that stupid tower. Come on guys, flow through, flow through. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Put these guys through individually. Warwick swordsman, take that tower out. Kurdish archers, slingers, really, really hot. Will you oblige me by getting in, guys? Guys, get in as well. We can take, get the gates as well. Archers, Lingers, these guys. Right, let's sort this mess out. Well, Peltes. Got some archers here. Really, really need to get rid of them. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys are crumbling. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, get a bit of stutter. Right, that tower's down. Right, I want these guys. I think we've got this tower now. Why is it firing at our own troops? Oh no. Actually firing at the enemy, running away. I think guys can come this way. Still got plenty of enemies up here. So let's get heavy archers. Well, Paltes. Ah, <sighs> cavalry. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's my other. Okay, guys. You've got that tower now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. These guys can move forward. Forest spears. Found me some. Now oh, they're shattered. Our general is under attack. Spears. That's our general then. Can you be? Oh, they're probably under attack from archers. We cleared the walls yet? Well, we cleared the top walls. These guys are breaking. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Slingers, Alps. Okay. Okay, they should be defending the square. Okay, let's get you guys pushing through here. Paltes. Yep, these guys have 
broken through this wall. Start moving this way. Bit of a non-contest actually, isn't it guys? And of course they're probably killing my own troops, purely and simply. There's the victory point, so we're just going to keep pushing on to that. The way through, the road there. So the, the main forces are in there, so it's not over yet, guys. Actually, you can go that way. There's some kind of you stand there and take that. You guys push this way. Actually, Spearman down there. I hate maneuvering in cities. What have we got here? Greek cavalry. But I think we will need our cavalry. I think you can get out. You can get out. You've taken casualties. So get over there. I think you three can come up this way and. General, I think you can go that way. I think we'll get you going that way. On me. Guys, keep marching through One of here. Our units has used all its ammunition. Right. You lots out. Back here. Archers, I want you. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful <sighs> display. Get rid of that tower. Um, some of you can go that way. Got Paltats. Right, let's just get these guys into position. I hate maneuvering in cities. Get up here. Right, let's get these guys into some semblance of order. that city and then some of you can push around this way because we're gonna have to fight our way in to the streets streets on streets streets street. archers I think you can get over here Here, citizen militia. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Right. I think you guys can just hold we that. Have the tower. Right. We've got the tower. Guys, keep pushing this way. This general can come this way. And lost my cavalry in the mix. Cavalry, I want you over here as well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Are they infantry? 
Well, Paltats. What we got here? Citizen militia, armed natives. Okay. Paltats. Get you guys up here. Got some space to maneuver now. Get you guys into position. What are you doing back there? <sighs> okay. Archers. Greek cavalry. I got my cavalry in position over here yet. Guys, go after that. They've got a very, very good choke point here, but guys, get over here as well. Can't find another way in here. Okay. You guys take out this area here. We have captured the gates. Capture the gates. Okay. Cavalry. Group. I think we're going to need to get the cavalry in to try and get some rear charges. We've drawn the. We've drawn them into a position. Got our general here. I think he can Victory! and got battle with them. These guys are holding. Okay. General, general in. You have to come through this gap here, aren't you? This is a very, very defensible position, actually. You guys there. General! Oh, quickly now! Your orders! Yes, quickly now! Here go should minimize this tower, yep, okay. Ready! Boys out! General! Yes, Commander! Your orders! Right. Aim for a flank charge here. Or rear charge, I don't know what you'd call it. And I think you guys can come through as well. General out. Gotta try and get some cycle charges in here. These guys are still holding very, very well. coming up this way. Got you guys now firing into there. Citizen cavalry. Our men flee the field of battle. This is for Satan. Right. These guys are breaking on this point. Citizen cavalry. cavalry back because you're getting shot by my own archers. Through cavalry, you can get through here. What are we doing here? These guys are still holding. Archers. You 
guys form up this way. This guy's going to get bolted, but if I can get a rear charge into these, they're going to get trapped, but these guys are forming square down here, so... Okay. These guys have got the rear charge on these. There's my general here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. The guys in here, come on, push through guys, push through. These guys got a little bit more ammunition. These guys are starting to break now under the effect of the rear cavalry charge. Maybe we'll give them a little bit of incentive. What have we got here? Okay, let's bring these guys up. Palsats out. We have lost the victory point. Well, we never had it in the first place, idiots. Can we get this way? Can we get in get in here? Okay, we've broken this side. Actually, no. We pull back. Yes, we got there. Oh, that was a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. We lost by nine hundred and ninety seven. Probably mainly to towers by the look of it, as usual. 459 of those, probably a little bit of friendly fire there. Yeah, looks like that Pell set took a little bit more damage than I was hoping for. Yeah, that was uh, getting better. Getting better. I hate fighting. Maybe from now on, I might start auto resolving some of my. And of course, what does going to happen? Comes in rank, that gives, and I think we want here, because we really want that, but we don't have enough cash for it, so we may have to just sit on the fence a little bit for here, and I think what we're going to do is get this army out here, oh, obviously I've, I think we'll upgrade these guys, because these are the ones who are going to be fighting next. On the move, my lord. Odessa or Tarsus. I think I want to come to go for a Odessa. Simply to see if they've got an army up here. My work is done. And I think what I want to do is I'm aware that our things have pushed on a bit, guys. So I think what we're going to do is get rid of this trash. Give us ah, great. Egypt. Okay. Get rid of the trash. I think we're our enslaved. They were a slave rebellion anyway. And I think we'll get you back round to here. Ready for further orders. Give these guys an upgrade. See, and the cavalry. Actually, give all these guys an upgrade. I know I'm spending a lot of money, but did I, did I move this army? Nope. I want you coming up here because I don't want you. I don't want to disband these troops, but at the same time, I want to get these troops up and uh, positioned as quick as possible. I think we could probably do with the upgrade. Right, so we've now got this here, but we can't convert that. So we have to do that next turn. Okay, guys, I'm going to go for an intern. Oh, 
Hello, Lightlius here. Well, from culture, oh yeah, I'm certainly going to go with that. Try and get the cash down. Oh, what else can we get here? Cunning, okay, we'll go make you an administrator. And pride of... Ah, this is our faction leader, so I want him to be a rightful sovereign. And we can get bonus there, gravitas, and unwavering patriot. I think we'll go with that because he's bound to get assassinated fairly soon. Who's this? This is another general. What we got here? On must be hiring costs. Don't really want that. Gain per turn. Morale all units. Chance of wounding an enemy agent. I think maybe we will capable bureaucrat, military logic, skilled tactician. I think maybe we'll go this way. What does that give us? Plus one line of sight, that could be useful. I certainly don't want to increase the upkeep of people in my armies at the moment. Uh, hidden agents and armies. Hmm. Ferocious Warrior, Gravitas for turn. I think we'll, we'll just go with that. That's one authority. Okay, we're going to go for an end turn, guys. My offer is shaped intricately and with great care. Do not uh... resist my words, like. I think I think that would be useful in the long term, but I wasn't going to pay for it. I mean, they're probably going to start wandering all over my territory again. But I think if we make friends with them. I'd like to make them allies. Actually, let's see if we can. It's a plot. Let's see if we can. Welcome, friend. We got Welcome. non aggression I'll and military action. Lord's okay. Welcome, friend. Welcome. No, they're not ready for a military alliance just yet, but it'd be really nice to get one. Wish these guys would give me Welcome, a trade agreement, but they don't want to give me a trade agreement. Okay, let's. Ah. Uh, we're just going to go for an auto resolve on this. Uh, a sheer might auto resolve. Like that, guys. Very high. 84%. Okay, I'm just going to occupy. This army can pull back to here. Because we've still got. Kind of substantial public order issues and hide behind, behind here. We've now got it's here. That starts to come down. Can you recruit anything here? Well, you could if uh, these guys have taken damage now. Wow, that was a pretty Guys taking damage as well? No, you're fully armed, but you're going to need to replenish. Wow. I should have fought that battle, shouldn't I? I didn't realise how how beat up you can get. But I'm not going to train because I've got this army coming up here. So you, you come bowling up here and you can re-equip this army. Some that we lost all, virtually all our cavalry. So you're going to need the cavalry from this Ready army, you, and probably. We fight for you, my lord. I think what we will do is. Merge. 
and then this one. Can't see there's not much point in having a, a damage spell set when this guy can come up and refurbish him. At your command. So I think I certainly want to get that underway. Let me come. Agent, agent, agent. Let's just check here. I was hoping. Oh, it's Saba. Get over here. Take that. And I think what I want is for you to come this way just to see what we've got over here. Okay. Trouble with that is it's a little bit far out. Just have a quick look. Oh, that's Suclids, that's Suclids, that's Suclids, that's Lydia we're at war with. I mean, I'd love to take Tarsus, if we could cut them off. And Pontus, you're not at war with anyone. Suclids are now at war with Saba, obviously Bactria, so most of their armies are in the east. Rapscus. So we don't know how big the garrison is in Tyrus. I mean, I'm a bit inclined to see if we could get a sneaky attack on there, but now with this army stationed here, it's going to need to defend this area just for a little while because. I think we'll leave the, the barracks in here because that would give us a forward recruitment centre. Okay guys, I'm going to go one more turn and then that's going to be it for this part. I think the next part is going to have to be a little bit of consolidation. Pray to your gods of the dead. Your foolishness has awoken the might and oh, anger of... Oh, great. Ah, we're at war with Rome. That's going to make life difficult because all my armies are in the north. Ally attacks. Uh, no, we're going to decline that. Sorry about that, but I'm not going to... I can't fight Carthage, Rome and the Sucalids. Uh, but I suppose no one's going to like us now because we've broken our alliance but I can't fight for a single province client. Rebellion in Syria, yes okay. Annual report, new political appointment, ruling of the obligates and said, oh. Did I forget all about that? Oh what a fail. Forgot all about that. Great, that's cost me money. Now, these guys have gone to war and I don't have any forces. I think I've got no choice, but I've got to. This army doesn't. Public order in here. Where were those slums? Here. Oh yeah, slums in here. Okay. Got a tiny little weak army here. But I need to defend what I've gained here. Okay. Let's have a look here. They're raising... Certainly want, they're going to have to go for a second temple there. How can I assist, Pharaoh? For honour and great glory! Wipe them out! I'm just going to have to get rid of these as quickly as possible. I don't want them to build up as a force. Setting forth in Pharaoh's name. So, Pharaoh. On the move, my lord. I could have put them in patrol, but if I get put them in patrol, 
there's a chance that they could get ambushed. The moment we've got a supply line, probably from Jerusalem. Oh, yeah, one, two, yep. You're in patrol here. Really would like to pull one of these armies back, but. And I think got 6,000 to spend. Let's get this army up to here. You can get out and. Advance! You can have the cavalry. And. And one of these. I think that's. Yep. Can't have the Royal Power Sats. Right. Men. I think we'll probably get rid of these guys, they're not much good. And you could recruit an extra unit, but I think you're just gonna have to sit there and take it. What can I do for Egypt? Ready for order. Certainly want these guys to get a bit more. And maybe these guys these these are my kind of attack troops. Um, just really want to get this agent out somehow. I have I've got any more agents. Fleet spies, no. I think this is where I'm going to bring it to an end. I'm just going to see if I can spend my cash on anything. These guys here. That we got research as well, didn't we? So, what did I? What was my last research? Christian research complete. Economic archive. Okay. I think that was this, wasn't it? Economic archive. That's got my. I think I think I've got to go military now, guys. If I like it or not. Gives me run speed. There's not much. That says a name of bit level three armorer. Um. That's a weaponsmith and tilt field. That will give me siege holdout time. Uh, maybe I do need to stick with economics. That gives me public auction, fish market, slaughterhouse, storage room, supply warehouse, tier three. That will give me that will be seven turns, which will lead to that. That's wealth and culture. I'm, I'm kind of inclined to go this way, guys. Action destroyed, Vasilla. Effort. Now I've got an encouraged population. Key. It's got minus one public order. I just wish this would build up. Okay, let's go through. Egyptus, you're looking good. Could go up one, that, but that's going to give us minus four public order. That would give us a little bit more food, a little bit more cash. I think we might be able to get something better than that. We keep this now because I might need it. Abatia, we've got slums. That will give us a bit more growth, but that will increase empire maintenance. You're doing good down here. Just got your, you still got fairly negative public order. I think I would probably would like to take that up. Oh, you got minus two food. Negative food. Here. Really, really need more food. Uh, we're going to have armies up here anyway, so I think we'll go with that. 
And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. We're now at war with Rome. God knows what they're going to do. Uh, we've got a potential war with Carthage. And we've still got to deal with the Suclids up here. I would love to take Tarsus. Get in, sneak in and take Tarsus here. But to do that... Uh, I'll think about it and we'll decide in the next part, guys. Because we've got this army here, we've got this army here, and we could go in and take Tarsus, and then maybe actually. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in, this, in the next part, guys. I'm gonna think about it. What I might do is actually this curiosity. If we. Suclids. Greetings. I... Do not waste no, time. Okay. What I might do is go in, take Tarsus, and then kind of turtle up for a little while to get these areas stable. But that will be all for the next part, guys. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.